Hey, what's going on? I'm uh, kind of in a holdup with uh, the 240 right now. Basically, what's going on is I can't get anybody here right now to help me with this welding piece, so I'm kind of at a standstill. Um, can't really move forward, can't paint, can't do really much of anything until I get that. And additionally, I'm waiting on a, a new head uh, for the engine, so I can't really start the rebuild on that. So what we're going to do today is I'm actually going to look at a truck today. Um, you know, life with a car, trying to do... Uh, car things can be tough, so uh, heading over to talk to my buddy Nelson. Um, we'll see what uh, kind of deals and what they got at the dealership. So it's really nice to be able to get the MR2 out, take it for a spin. First decent day we've had, probably you know two weeks. It's been rainy, cold as hell. So got a little sunlight. So I'm sorry if the you know the camera keeps trying to auto adjust for the light, um, but. You know, kind of happens. Um, you know, but like I said, you know, it's really nice to be able to get the MR2 out, take it for a spin. Um, I love this car. It's, it's easy to say. The only downfall, though, is no damn cup holders. So when you get in part of that cup holder life, you know, it's kind of like, oh, yeah, not a big deal. Nah, it, it kind of sucks because the days you're kind of dragging a little bit, you need energy you drink, you need coffee. Not happening. Not happening. So be weary. But it is a fun car, don't get me wrong. Um, on the side note though, going back to what we were talking about originally, um, truck, I'm going to look at a truck uh, for my buddy Nelson here. Uh, what we're going for is to uh, give me something where I'm able to tow things or pick things up, throw them in the back, things like that. Right now, I drive a four-door sedan, just a, you know, a run-the-mill Dodge Dart. Um, you know, it's, it's been great for me. I have no complaints on the car for uh, just a daily. I used to live farther away from work than I do now, so I needed the fuel economy, and it provided it for me. However, now that I don't need it because I live closer to work, I want to get a truck. All my friends who drive trucks live a little bit farther away, so I'm asking them to come 45 minutes you know, to an hour to come help me out by picking something up or helping me haul something, something along those lines. And, you know, I don't want to be that burden on them. So we're going to go look at the truck, you know, see what they have to offer, uh, see what kind of some of the prices are, and then kind of go from there. Um, hoping, you know, the next uh, two to three weeks I'll be able to actually purchase the truck. I've uh, been saving up for it, you know, look at what they offer, maybe financing options, things like that. Um, right now, you know, kind of the prelim research, see what kind of stuff you get, getting near the holidays, so we can start offering them holiday fun deals, and um, hopefully we can get pretty, something pretty sick um, to be able to do everything I want to do. So we're here right now at the dealership, kind of checking out some of the stuff. He's inside checking on uh, some prices and see what we can... Uh, take out for a test drive but you know pretty nice trucks have came a, a long way since the last time I've actually like physically came and looked at some of these um, you know so the real test is obviously is how's it gonna feel when I drive it you know this is a this is a Dodge dealership that I'm at right now and you know and the difference between you know one of these V6s or one of them 5.7 Hemi's uh, should be a drastic difference though you know so uh, yeah, like I said, he's inside. He's checking out some prices for me on, you know, some of these that are sitting behind me here, um, just to give me a, a ballpark of what I'm looking at. Um, yeah, it's, it, you know, could pan out pretty well here. Um, yeah, just the issue I'm finding though is I would like a full size bed. Um, doesn't look like they really come with many of them. Uh, everything now seems to be these four foot beds. I guess this is the going trend. Not a fan of it too much, you know. If I need to throw, say, eight foot piece of eight foot piece of drywall or something like that in the back, I may have some struggles there. So, uh, you know, like you said, you know, he's checking in prices. Give me a ballpark here. Supposedly they have an off lot uh, storage area that we're going to drive over to to look at some more and uh, give Nelson a little uh, camera time when we get over there, where he may not get yelled at by his bosses for talking to a cell phone. So. Uh, yeah, we'll uh, wait when he comes back out and see where we can go from there. All right, so we're out cruising around in, um, what is this again? It's a 2016 Ram Bighorn 1500. So Ram Bighorn 1500, this has a Hemi? 
This is a 5.7 Hemi, 360 horsepower. Yeah, this this thing's got all the bells and whistles. It's pretty, it's pretty damn nice. Um, definitely, you know, a lot different than most pickup trucks that I'm used to being in. Uh, they are um, a lot more advanced per se. Oh, that you? Oh, that's nice. That's nice. Um, yeah, it feels. Uh, Rides a lot smoother too than I actually expected. I mean, you you could you can really hide some crap in this thing. There's there is more cubby holes and cup holders and all that fun stuff than every vehicle I own combined in this thing. It's very capable. <laughs> yeah, that's that's an understatement for for sure. But they built these for like long distance so you're you know it's kind of like having a durango okay but not really with the capability of with the capability of being able to have a bed mm -hmm. plywood things like that what uh what kind of fuel economy does this thing get so you're gonna expect depending on your acceleration but anywhere 14 in the city 20 on the highway 22 on the highway mm -hmm. um but that's all relative Okay. You know, that all depends on the driver. Yeah, true. Some people get like 14 miles to the gallon on the highway. Because, yeah. you know. And a car this size with an engine as big and as torquey, it's it's pretty fun to drive. Yeah. <laughs> so this is the, the crew cab edition um, the with the four, four foot bed, correct? Four foot bed. Yeah, so four foot bed, you know, like I was explaining earlier, this is a little bit, a little bit shorter of a bed than I'd like, but, you know, some things you... You take some things you don't um, based on what's available price range. I mean, this is pretty freaking nice truck. Um, so, is the the bed worth giving up or not? Is it's kind of one of the big things I'll have to debate on with this. Uh, we're on our way to your other lot, correct? Yes. So we're on our way to his other lot. Um, see what they have in store there to see if um, you know he can kind of break down some of the packages a little bit better for me, so I can get visuals on it all. Um, make sense of this I'm sometimes I'm a little bit of a slow learner I gotta see every step of the way to comprehend stuff he's used to dealing with my dumb ass very slow um, <laughs> so uh, we'll, we'll see what he has available there and uh, we'll kind of go from there and you know we'll let uh, we'll let Nelson uh, break down everything for us and kind of uh, see what he has to offer all right so we're walking around the second lot here uh, just looking out some of the other options that he's got here so I uh, found some stuff we really liked um, wasn't as many options as we originally thought obviously end of the year they're selling everything like hotcakes to make room for all the new 2018s that's right so uh, you know he's gonna have to check through his computer systems see what he can find for us here and uh, kind of see where he can obviously I'm not buying like two days so it's it's a little easier for him you know he's got my He's got my timetable and what I'm looking at, so hopefully he can do some uh, digging and you know find me a diamond in the rough for a good price. Look at that beast over there, Jesus. Yeah, oh, it doesn't have a bed. No bed. It's chassis. <laughs> yeah, it's chassis cab. I don't know if you guys can see this over here. Yeah, we'll, we'll go take a look at it. This this thing is a monster. However, somebody stole the bed off of it. No, that's how they come. Oh, well, they come like this. I, I don't understand why. Because you can do a dump bed. Oh, I guess this can, can be converted for a dump bed. Yeah. So you can you can do whatever. Ah, the sun's gonna it. screw me up maybe. Yeah. So it's a Ram 2500 with a Hemi. This thing is beautiful, nice red. However, you got the back here. There's <laughs> nothing there. To totally fooled me. Totally fooled me. I was like, oh, look at this dope truck. No, not at all. Yeah, I, I don't need a dump truck though. No, 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 no. <laughs> Actually, we have one that we outfitted back on the lot that I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. No, so supposedly they have one of these with the finished product, so oh, yeah. that'd be pretty we cool. We actually have different options on the dump bed. I don't need that's a dump truck. I don't need a dump truck. That. So that's pretty cool. So what we're going to do now is, uh, you know, pop back over to the other lot and talk about some, you know, some pricing options and what that looks like for me and availabilities availabilities and you know timetables and you know all the all the mathematical 
stuff that everybody does not look forward to when they buy a car, but is very important. Right. So we'll kind of uh, head back over there, and we'll uh, we'll see what kind of uh, voodoo magic he can create with a calculator. A little voodoo. A little voodoo. So we're getting another early start. Um, some interesting things happened last night. Uh, Nelson gave me a ring. Uh, we found out that we can find a way where we can do the deal on the truck um, that I really liked today. Um, it kind of benefits both of us. Uh, it works in my financial range. Um, doesn't put me in a bad spot. Also gives him a deal. Um, obviously he's a car salesman, so uh, any sort of uh, sale is good for his numbers. So it's a win-win for both of us. Uh, so it's pretty cool. Uh, getting rid of the daily here. Um, so be an interesting adjustment going from, you know, sedan to uh, a nice truck. So we'll kind of hand it from there. Started a little bit earlier today though because they said they're pretty busy come noon. Um, you, pr you can't see it obviously, but it looks like it's going to be a crap day. Um, it's pretty gray out. It's super windy forecast for storms sometime after, after lunch. Um, so I'm really not looking forward to that. So anything I want to do outside, um, I'm hoping I can get done prior to that. I do have a little bit of yard work I'd like to get done, but it kind of dictates on if this rain holds off or not. Um, additionally, um, this, the team I support plays at 10. Um, so I want to make sure I get that done. So that's why I'm trying to get it everything uh, in the work so I can obviously A, watch the game in time, and uh, B, get my yard work and stuff done before uh, potential monsoon hits. But, you know, pretty exciting day. Um, hopefully, uh, one of the guys I've been talking to will uh, get back to me today on the welding piece for the 240. Um, I'd really, really like to be able to get that done this weekend. Um, if not, if you can't get it done, um, have to get a little interesting. Um, obviously, for me, being kind of a perfectionist, I want this to look good. I'm putting the time into it if it needs to look good, so I'm not just going to, you know, super glue it in or anything like that, because it'll just fall out and it'll look like garbage. Um, so, if can't get somebody in today or tomorrow, then, um... I have to go back to the drawing board, see what we can do. Um, so, we'll, we'll see where that takes us. Um, yeah, so, on the way to the dealership, getting uh, getting the new uh, vehicle, and should be, uh, hopefully, the start of a good day. Okay, it's official. I'm a truck owner. Uh, pretty cool. I ended up with a 2015 uh, Silverado. I uh, got it for... You know, with only 20,000 miles on it, it was owned by somebody who had a lease prior to. So, uh, got a really good deal on it. It's used uh, everything I, I could potentially want. Uh, it's got the backup camera. It's got you know touch display, everything like that. It is what would you would call it used to call it cabin a half. They don't call it that anymore. But uh, so there is a little bit of a back seat area. I did get a six foot bed. Um, it's this nice like metallic blue color so it looks pretty sharp uh, got rail liners six foot bed as I already said um, and it's a line bed too which is huge um, one of the you know one of the only downfalls to it is, is it doesn't have Android Auto I mean that's really nitpicky first world problems um, so supposedly there's some sort of attachment you can get through the dealership but it sounds like it's pretty pricey um, I'll give you a walk around of the truck uh, as soon as I can it just started raining um, it's super windy out so once that dies down um, I'll give you a walk around it's supposed to storm um, pretty much for the next few hours so it might be a little bit delayed um, from here if I can't get it done you know I'll just put it on the next video and we'll kind of go from there still haven't heard back on anybody regarding welding uh, which is kind of a bummer but um, you can you can only do so much with that um, and when you know, when I hear something, you know, we'll get that lined up and taken care of so we can get continue rolling on the 240 uh, and get that going on. And, uh, yeah, it should be a 
it'll be a good time once we get rolling on it but like I said one little hold up and then we'll kind of go from there so it's a bit late um, probably can't see the truck very well um, long day at work so I wasn't able to get a uh, good daytime video of this for you um, see if I can get up here got a nice like sparkly metallic blue um, yeah I ended up going Chevy so I'm sure you'll see it in uh, a bunch of the other videos as well you know got you know cab and a half like I said my six foot bed yeah pretty nice I'm happy with it you know um, can't ask for much more you know hard work pays off that's about all all I can be uh, thankful for for the moment being and I got a good deal so that always helps um, yeah so hopefully this week I'll be able to get somebody with the weld um, help me out there and we can get going on the s13 some more getting that engine bay complete uh, may have something in the works that'll be pretty fun also to work on um, so uh, stay posted uh, and uh, be on the lookout for more videos